uh, well, they call him the Italian Stallion, a little Rocky Balboa, uh, Danilo Gallinari, who is the sixth overall pick of the Knicks. And uh, first of all, Danilo, we gotta gotta welcome you to the Big Apple, and and you look good in the uh, in the Knicks cap, but it looks as if. You kind of thought the Knicks were really interested in you from the get-go. I don't think you're that surprised that you're wearing a Knicks cap right now, huh? Yeah, yeah. They they were a little bit interested in me, and it was I think it's the right situation for me. And you know, I so honored to play for this team, for this jersey, and this this city. When well, did you? I know, of course, we all know about your dad and the relationship that he had with with Coach D'Antoni. At what point in Italy did did you start to really watch the American game and say, I think I can hang with some of these guys? But, you know, it, people start to watch me this year. So I, I used to follow NBA since I was a little child. And I realized that I could play here and I was also at least try this experience this year. So it's just this year. Rob, my, go ahead, pal. My, yeah, my question would be, how, how disappointing was it to hear, you know, you're at the Garden and people booing the Knicks pick when they picked you. Obviously, a lot of people haven't never seen you play, but... What was your reaction to the booze? Well, it's nice. I like it. You that. like it? Yeah. Come on. Come Did on. You, you like, you like the yeah. booze? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, it's a part of your job. It's not, not, not every time they talk good or they, they clap the hands to you. So it's a part of the job, but I like that. You know, Rob, by the way, as soon as you came in, when we were wrapping up with Larry and I had a chance to talk to Danilo during the break, I said, how tall are you, man? Are we, are we talking 6'8"? Eight, eight? No, no, he goes 6'9". Without the Nikes, without the sneakers on, so wow. he wanted to make that clear. He's he's a legit six foot nine. Let's get that out of the way. Well, that that's good to know. How about a nickname? Do, what do people call you? Are they saying your name correctly? Because you know people always take liberties of uh, people's names. I yeah. want to hear you say your name. Uh, my name is Danilo Gallinari, and my surname is Gallo. G A L L O. My, ni- my nickname is Gallo. Uh, sorry. Yeah, is See, the Gallo? Go. Huh? Yeah. What does that mean? Means uh, rooster. The rooster, huh? Yeah. It means the rooster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 does the rooster play ball? Where does that come from? Is that even a good nickname, Danilo? No, come on. I, the Italy's rooster. A, it's a good na- in Italy, it's a good good name. And he comes from my father when he was playing. All the teammates called him Gallo. And that's year by year, they start to call me like that. So that's it. Coach. So your dad was a, was a defensive player. <laughs> is that it? Did you learn anything from him about that? Or are you just a flat-out shooter and scorer? No, I, I like to play defense, too. Uh and I learned something from my father, but he, he was he was a great defensive player. So I have to I have to bring this type of defensive plays also here. So to Danilo uh, Gallinari, the sixth overall pick with the Knicks right here on 1050. Brandon Tierney, Rob Parker as the uh, 1050 Knicks dra- uh, NBA draft coverage continues. Let's face it, you know when you, unless it's a circumstance that's a little different, when you get drafted as high as you did tonight, you're usually going to a team that a needs a whole lot of help and b is in rebuilding mode. It, it, it's obviously way too early to say what he expect in terms of the team next year, but from a, a, a playing time point of view, do you, are, are you physically ready, strong enough now at your age to come in and play big minutes in the NBA, do you think? I, I really don't know now because, you know, I, got, I know I got to work on that. I don't know NBA words, so I, I, will, I will work on that, and I think Coach D'Antoni is the right person to help me to, to do this thing. How well do you know Coach D'Antoni? Obviously, uh, your dad and him were uh, roommates when they were players, but really, like, do you consider him an uncle? How close are you to him? Uh, but, you know, I... I I don't know him like uh, better. I, I don't know him like well, like a person because okay. I, I met him only one time, like six years ago. So I don't know him well, but I we I think we got so much time to know us well and work together. Now let's get to the important issue here on uh, Andrea Borgnani. How that sound? Did I say that okay for you? Yeah, Andrea, I'm half Italian. Yes, I'm at Napoli Don, right? Yeah. Don't count BT. Right. Exactly. BT half. You, that, doesn't that doesn't count. That doesn't count. What do you mean that doesn't <laughs> count? Doesn't count. I'm, I'm from half. half Italian. What do you mean? It doesn't count. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyway, Danilo, the uh, the Andrea Borgnani comparisons are, are absolutely inevitable. How are you guys similar? Uh, how are you different? And more importantly, what do you think you'll do better than than he does? I think we are uh, Italian guys and good guys. That's the things that we are we having. <laughs> All right, that's a good start. <laughs> okay, and uh, in common, and we are different players. We we play different positions, so we we are completely different like players, and uh, you will see that. And, and what, what about way, you? though? Is he more a passer, a slasher? How the the actual difference in the, for the Nick fan? Because we've seen Andrea play for a yeah. couple of years now. From a basketball execution point of view, your game itself, 
How is it different from his? If it is. Yeah, he's different. Uh, we, I think I, I, I'm a little bit ver- more versatile than him, and he's taller than me, mm-hmm. and uh, he's more physical than me. So he plays like uh, he could play also inside, but he played outside like me. But he's got great qualities like me playing outside and great shooter. He's a great shooter, and I think we got something different like this and something in common. I think uh, we are. He's a real nice player. I'm not good like like him, uh, but. We will see. But you will be better someday, right? I don't know. I will work on that. <laughs> Atta boy, well, Rob, go ahead. All right, tell me about uh, a player in the NBA who maybe you play like or people can get a feel for who you're going to be. Is there a player in the NBA who plays like you? I I, I think so, but I let, you, I, I let you compare. I will not compare myself with nobody. I will let you compare myself with somebody. Well, we hear Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, that's obviously the highest of the highest of yeah. the end, but... A little piece of Dirk in your game, you think? Yeah, I think so. I think so. He's he's a little bit taller than me, and he's, he's a great player, better than me for sure. And but I got something of him, yeah. Now, How if about the... my metal core. Oh, oh, core. He's Mimetto a big guy. Core? He's pretty thick. Yeah, yeah. My metal core. But he can shoot threes. Mm-hmm. The guy. I mean, he he's kind of similar, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, probably yes. He's got he's got a great three point line shooter, and uh, he's he's probably bigger than me. Yeah, so he big, is bigger yeah. than you, definitely. Yeah. But but you shot forty percent from three point land. Yeah, you like that? I like that. Okay, forty percent. <laughs> I could work with that. Okay, okay. And hey, I'm curious. Let's say uh, I don't know, maybe say December fifteenth, whatever it is. The the Knicks and the Celtics, the defending champions, at that point at the Garden. You know, young Danilo Gallinari is getting some playing time. He's responding to Coach D'Antoni's system. Knicks have a three-on-one break. You have a little Crawford, maybe a little Marbury in the middle. And Steph does a little look away, and he gives you a bounce pass. You going to lay it in, or are you going to jam that? Are you going to dunk? Are you going to really – can you dunk? Can you throw down nice dunks when you have some space or what? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. I don't know if if you guys something saw some games in Italy, but I can do it. But it depends on the situation. It depends. I will read my defense defensor. So if he will stay on a paint trip on paint line, mm-hmm. I will shoot. And if he stay outside, I will dunk. If you have dunk. a little space, you'll, you'll look yeah. to rise up and throw it down. Yeah. Nice. Tell me, tell me about the Italian league. Are, are there any real players over there? How many really good players are there, or is it uh, you know just a handful of really stars and then a lot of. Also, Rams, also but, players. I, I think it's a real nice league. It's a tough league. We got real nice players, and you know, I I play in a in a position where I got every game I got to guard the best score on, on the other on the opposite team. So mm-hmm. we got great players, I think, and American players and uh, European players. How tough, as we talked to Danilo Gallinari here on 1050, now in New York, Nick. Uh, and he seems very genuinely enthused to to be wearing that Nick hat. It looks good on it too, by the way. How how much pressure? I guess there will be less since since Bargnani and a few other countrymen before you have kind of you know paved the the way for it so to speak. But I mean, pressure coming to a team that has been bad for a while, to a great city with over eight million people with a high Italian population. There's a lot of pressure on you. Do you yeah. do you think you'll feel it when when it starts? Yeah, I will feel the pressure, but I like that. I used to play when I was playing in Italy. Everybody, I got a lot of pressure too in Europe and Italy because everybody expects something great from me, and I did it with pressure. And I like pressure. It's a part of my job, and it's what uh, brings you at top. So I like that. And you know what? If things don't work out and it gets to tell people, forget about it. Don't worry about it. It's going to be good. I tell you, if it doesn't work out on the court, I'm pretty sure Danilo's going to be able to get himself a couple of dates uh, and enjoy some of the beautiful women in the city. Now, you're not married or anything, right? No, 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 no. Not yet? No, no, he's only no, no. 19. Well, I don't oh. know. No, I'm no. Just checking? No, okay. don't joke with that. I'm not that right now. <laughs> so he's coming here literally with no ties. He's here to play ball. Very and if nice. you meet somebody special, you yeah. meet somebody special. Yeah. Danilo, uh, I, I wanted to, you know, obviously once again welcome you to uh, our great country, our great city, and and a basketball team that was once great and has struggled for a long time. Uh, I think we all hope and, and expect you to be a, a real piece of the puzzle. Good luck, stay healthy, and and you really do look good in that cap, man. It fits you well. Thank you, thank and, you, I appreciate and, and it, Danilo. Brother. There's one other thing you have to do before you leave. You have to wish BT a happy birthday because today is his birthday. That's right. Oh, now man. how old do I look? Let's see. Go ahead. Uh-oh, how old do uh-oh. I look? Uh-oh. Forget about the hair. How old? Uh, some thirties. Yeah, keep yeah, it close. Very good. Very good. Something, all right, close. 
36. 35. Right there, oh. man. Not that bad. Very man. good. Yeah. Now, how old are you, Parker? Uh, 44. Yeah. <laughs> Going on 58? I know. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> All right, man. Danilo, well, hey, great to see you, baby. Right. And welcome to the Apple. Thank you. The newest Nick. Danilo Gavinari right here on 1050. Rob, uh, we'll get a quick timeout. Get back to our coverage with our buddies downstairs with Mark Kestisher and Will Perdue and Steve Lavin and Doug Gottlieb as uh, the newest Nick is in the house. Danilo Gallinari, right here on 1050 ESPN, New York City.